Hey, so I was challenged by the great Dave Randell to deliver a bed talk. So here we are, a talk from my bed. And the theme that I've chosen to talk to you about can be summed up with the chorus of a song by a great band, The Offspring, and it's this. In the great album Smash, uh, the band The Offspring uh, created a song that spoke about having something to believe in. And I think that's very, very relevant right now. And the subject of my bed talk is about somebody who had something to believe in. There's a guy by the name of Admiral James Stockdale. Uh, many of you will have heard of him. And in the book, Good to Great, Jim's Co Jim, uh, Jim Collins talks a bit about Stockdale. And there's a line I want to read to you from uh, in which uh, Collins was interviewing Stockdale about you know what he went through. This was a guy who had to beat himself up and scar himself so he couldn't be put on videos to show how well he was treated. He developed codes, he found ways to communicate externally. He did all of these great things and at the end of them, you know, he came out, he got the Congressional Medal of Honor, a true war hero in the, in, you know, the re most uh, real terms. And Collins interviewed him and said, you know, how did you make it through? And he said this, he said, I never lost faith in the end of the story. Uh, I never doubted only, not only that I would get out, but also that I would prevail in the end and turn the experience into, into a defining event of my life, which in retrospect, I would not trade. Now, uh, Jim Collins then asked him, who didn't get out? And he said, oh, that's easy. The optimists. You see, the optimists were the people who sat there every day and said, you know, well, I'm just if I can make it to my birthday, I'll be out. I'll be home by my birthday. Or if I can make it to Christmas, I'll be fine then. I'll make it then and I'll be strong and I'll be home free. And of course, when it didn't happen, their spirits broke. They didn't confront the harsh reality of what they're facing. And I know that that's where we're sitting right now. On one side, we've got the harsh reality. But on the flip side, we've got to, we've got to go in with that belief that we must prevail. And I want to talk to you about this from a work perspective right now. But not because I had some capitalistic motivation that we should go out there and make lots of money, but actually for a different reason. You know, last week I actually felt quite optimistic. I felt like we would prevail, but I felt like we would prevail in a better way. I felt excited. And I felt true that way while I was sitting in front of my computer. You know when I stopped feeling that way is when I climbed into this very bed. When my head hit the pillow, then I started lamenting about everything that was going on in the world and I started crapping myself. And I realized that I was at my best when I was solving something, when I was working towards something. And this is the gift that all leadership have to give to their people. Sure, it's gonna to be tough and we can't make false promises, but we must be trying to drive people to prevail. We must give people something to believe in. Right now, if you're sitting there in whatever job you have, no matter how harsh it is, sitting there reading your Facebook updates and your coronavirus groups and reading about how scary this could be, that's not gonna help. Saying to yourself things like, ah, it'll all be, you know, we just sit in tight for three weeks, we'll all be okay. That's not the right approach either. The approach is to realize how brutally tough this is and to fight the good fight anyway. Now we can't all be on the front line uh, trying to make the changes in hospitals and doing things, but we can be making the changes in our businesses. It can give us something of meaning that we can work towards. Right now, I want to suggest, if you're looking for some good reading to read while you're at home, uh, I would suggest A Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. We need to go back to a place where we can feel like we get up every morning for a purpose and for a reason. And saving these companies that employ these people that we're at, keeping our friends around us uh, with great jobs that uh, we can even grow and thrive after we prevail from this is very, very worthwhile. And truly, from my side, something worth believing in.